Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are focusing on knee stretching basics. So if you are experiencing any pain in your knees, um, typically there are two components to dealing with the rehab portion of this, and that is stretching and strengthening. So today we're focusing on beginner stretches for the knees. Um, fun fact, uh, there are no actual muscles in your knee. Your knee is composed of bone, which uh, sort of makes the joint, and the cartilage that uh, offers the cushioning inside the knee, and then you have your attaching ligaments and muscles that surround it. So the muscles we're going to focus on today are your quad, your hamstring, and your IT band, uh, which are two big important um, sort of chains that attach into the knee that can be very tight and contribute to knee discomfort. So uh, you're on the right track if you're here. Uh, start off with these. Uh, any stretch, just like any other video you've watched, I always suggest doing 30 to 90 seconds. And the reason for that is so that your body can relax into it. So uh, if you find at 30 seconds the stretch is pretty tough, come out, give yourself a minute to relax, give yourself a rest, and then go back in for another couple seconds. Um, so start off with baby steps. We don't need to go full throttle. You can work your way up when you add this into your rehab routine. So not to worry there. Let's get to it. All right, so we are going to focus on the hamstrings first. So this is a very basic seated forward bend into the hamstrings, which focuses on elongating the whole muscle chain in the leg. Um, so you're going to start with your feet out in front of you. And again, just lift that butt flesh so that your sits bones are rooted into the ground. You feel nice and strong, sitting up nice and straight out of your hips. And now what's gonna happen here is if you have really tight legs and your legs are kind of up like this and you can't get them straight, I want you to stick a pillow underneath them, a bolster, you can roll up a towel, a yoga mat, whatever you need to give yourself some support before we start to go into our stretch. So make sure that you do that for yourself, hit pause, go and do that, come on back. So when you get here, um, knee, uh, legs are right out in front of you. We're going to sit up nice and tall and we're just going to start to hinge forward. So what I want you to focus on here is keeping your back straight and walking yourself forward to the point where you feel like you need to uh, break that nice straight line coming out of your back. So we want to come just before that moment and we're going to hold on to that for about 30 seconds and then you guys can collapse forward and deepen the stretch. So wherever you are, fingertips on the ground, the shins, whatever helps you to keep that straight line coming out of your back, feeling that stretch sort of fire up along the back of your hamstrings and even behind your knee. And then now's the time Let's imagine 30 seconds passed for the sake of this video and you can start to fold forward. So you're going to drop your forehead um, and you're going to reach for the soles of the feet or you can you know, grab behind the toes, whatever works for you and uh, relax into it. So making sure that you're taking nice deep breaths and holding on to this for about 90 seconds all together. If you need a break, walk yourself out and then come on back in and just relax. So that is stretch number one to target the hamstrings. If you find it difficult sitting up to do this or sitting on the floor, uh, you can turn this into a standing forward bend. So just go on and stand forward, hinge and reach for the floor and just get a nice stretch in that way. So there's another modification for you and I hope you enjoy and it works for you. The next stretch is meant to target your IT band. Okay, so the side of your leg, sort of um, beside your quad on the outside of your leg. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna come into a, onto your side, okay, laying in a sideline position here, and you are going to grab your top leg. So from here, you're gonna start to feel a stretch in your quad perhaps. Make sure you're not sinking and breaking down. Uh, make sure your upper body is held nicely and supported. If this doesn't feel good for you, 
feel free to come down onto your elbow, but just make sure we're, you know, um, keeping a, a good awareness in our in our upper back so that we're not causing other issues as well. So from here, we're now going to aim to bring this uh, right leg up, <laughs> losing my left and right here, um, and we're going to press our heel into our left knee and you're going to start to feel a nice big stretch down your quad and into your IT band. So it's a really great one. The more you push and add resistance, the more you're going to kind of feel that stretch into that IT band. So again, hang out here for a little while. You can play around with your grip and what works best for you. Um, make sure to obviously uh, bring your awareness to your knee. If this is sort of more of a red light pain and it's not feeling too great, make sure to ease up on the tension um, and uh, respect that boundary that your body's giving you. And the last stretch, as I mentioned, is a quad stretch. So we're gonna keep it very simple today. Um, this one does require you to stand up. Um, so you can find some wall space to hold on to uh, or a railing or whatever it is that you need. If you have good balance, by all means, uh, use your own judgment and you can stand up and do this. Um, but what you're gonna do is, if we're working with the right side first, um, holding on to your balance, we're going to grab those right toes behind you and bring the heel of your right foot towards your bum. So you're gonna feel a nice big stretch in your quad. So if you can't quite reach your foot, I want you to grab a strap and wrap it around your foot and pull it up towards you. Uh, if this is feeling too easy and you're not getting much of a stretch out of it, you can start to lean forward and you should start to feel a good stretch come through. And that is what we have for today. Like I said, very basic beginner knee stretches. It's always good to set a nice, strong foundation. Um, so these are really great to add into your routine. Keep up with them, you know, a lot of the time, Things don't have to be so advanced. Sometimes it's nice to just go back to basics and stretch through very plainly um, the muscles that, that needs to work out. So I hope this is a good jumping off point for you. I hope you're feeling well. Let me know how it goes and we will see you on the next video.